The thing that's really amazing to me is that it is now apparently the law of the land and societal rule that the only rationale that you would possibly have for saying that a marriage is between a man and a woman is because you're a Christian or a Jew or a Muslim. That's really the only reason at all. That the only reason will allow you to have these crazy beliefs so long as you can show that they're crazy beliefs. So long as you can show that the reason that you believe that marriage is between a man and a woman is because you read it in a book and because you really believe the book. They keep saying sincere religious belief. I don't even know how you measure sincere religious belief. Are we going to like now monitor how often you go to church or to synagogue, whether you keep kosher or whether you take communion in order to determine your sincere? I mean, the same media that declares that Nancy Pelosi is a sincere religious believer who is just for the mass abortion of, of unborn children. The argument for marriage has literally nothing to do with religion. You could be an, an, a visitor from, from Mars and, and you could see that all of human procreation relies on man, woman, child. This is not particularly difficult stuff. Okay, um, that made little sense. I understand it might be hard to follow some of it because he's doing his best to talk as fast as he possibly can. But we're gonna dive into it, Monday. I wanna give you first crack. What did you think about his uh, little Martian uh, argument there? Well, his voice sounds very Martian-like. And his, his repetition or his, or his cadence is horrible. First of all, let's let's be clear. If, 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 if his definition of marriage is based on procreation, what he's saying is people that can't have kids shouldn't be allowed to get married. Yep, and it's it's a horrible argument. It's absolutely disgusting. And first of all, uh, if you want to keep talking about that, talking about that little book that talks about marriage, the the person who spread the gospel more than anybody, because the little book is somebody the Bible, the person who spread the gospel more than anybody would be Peter, who was against marriage, who said man shouldn't get married at all. So let's not act like it's sacred. There's a lot that he clearly doesn't understand. He has a very a very like closed off idea of what the societal differences would be between us and a civilization that grows up on Mars. I, I think they might actually have some trouble figuring out some of our things. You know that there are other societies on Earth that don't have the same marital practices as as America, let alone on another planet. So that's a dumb point. It's not as dumbest though. Uh, the dumbest would be assuming that procreation necessarily has anything to do with marriage. Again, but you don't need to be married to procreate. You can procreate or not inside of a marriage. He weirdly links those things and that gets to the bigger problem. The problem with what he said there isn't fundamentally about Martians. It isn't even about babies. It's about him projecting how insecure he is about the basis for his beliefs, which are in this case, religious dogma. That is actually why he believes these things. Matt Walsh too, they might be different religions, but they believe it for the same reason. And that would be perfectly fine for a lot of religious conservatives, but it's not fine for them because that's not good enough for them. Both Ben Shapiro and Matt Walsh want to believe that they're not just saying what they were told as kids in temple or church or whatever. No, they're intellectuals, okay? They think logically, okay? They're philosophers. They're the cool kids philosophers. No, they believe this stuff for religious dogma. That's actually why they believe it. That's why they have so much trouble making an intellectual non-religious argument for why marriages have to be structured exactly the way that it makes them comfortable. And I will add on this one thing, isn't it kind of convenient that their religious beliefs agree with them in every case? That I've never seen Ben Shapiro go on air and say, you know what, I there's this group and I hate them and I fear them. They make me sick to my stomach, but I read in the Bible and I'm, I'm wrong. The Bible says I should love those people. I naturally hate them and fear them. But the Bible says that I'm wrong and I'm gonna have to try to work through that. Isn't it weird that the Bible always agrees with their hatreds and fears and lusts and suspicions and all of that? Blaming it on religious or calling it religious dogma is I think it's I think it's still cap. And cap in my community means it's fake. I think it's all about views and clicks. I I, I think Shapiro is lacking a spine. Um yeah. I think he has he has no he has no moral compass as it pertains to religion or or progressive ideas, whichever spectrum he's on this. This decade, right? Mm. Because we could, we know he's a flip flopper, and and it's it's grounded in him being famous and relevant, not what he really believes. I don't know if he has a belief. 